What's going on YouTube? Crazy K5 bringing you the complete Crisis 3 perk overhaul. If you're new to the game, it's basically something you're going to want to check out. I'm going to go through every perk in the game and let you know basically what's going on. Alright, we're going to kick things off with Auto Armor. Now, this is something that if you're new to the game, you are going to want to use. You know, it's something that you're going to have to learn. It takes a learning process, you know, getting used to when to put your armor on. Basically, if you do want to skip this stage, then it can be beneficial, but I recommend it for a first time player, you know, you want to do it. Basically, if you get shot at when you're not in cloak mode, your armor will automatically come on and give you a bit more of a chance in a gunfight, so you know, you can get kills and rank up that way. Uh, it, basically, it, if your reactions are very good anyway, and you know, you, you're in a gunfight or you, you can anticipate a gunfight coming up, then just hit armor mode, you know. So that could sort of save you, save you a perk, give you an extra slot. But yeah, auto armor can be very good in the right hands. It can be overpowered, but for new players, I would say it's essential. So give it a go if you knew. Moving on to Phantom now. Now this is something not I don't see a lot of people using this, but it's actually one of my favourite perks. It, it you know it makes this transition into stealth so much more fluent, and you know. Tier 1 there, faster transition in that stealth out, does make a massive difference, like you can just, if you slide in cloak at the same time, like to get away from someone, like 9 times out of 10 you will get away, because it is so fluent and it is so like instant. Tier 2, no sound when entering cell phone, now basically what I was saying in my video yesterday, my second, my uh, Grendel gameplay on Financial District, is when you can hear people say, oh stealth engaged or you know, armour activated, well basically this removes that. So you know, there's no sound. It does. There's no enemy callouts, and also you can hear people better. So you can hear the enemy's suit movements and stuff better. So that's always good. And it leads on to tier three once you've got 500 kills with it. Stealth shutdown time reduced from shooting from stealth. So if you do get in a panic situation and you know you shoot out a cloak and then armor, and you've lost all your stealth energy, basically it'll just come back quicker. Can be helpful. It's not, you know, it's not a bad thing at all. Right, I'm going to move on to Scout. This is basically for any of you that have played any sort of COD game. You know, it's like it's like the Blackbird or the Orbital or VSAT when you get a maximum radar. You, you get arrows like showing their direction. And I find this actually a lot more constant. Like if you use normal max radar, like there's a little there's delays. Whereas with Scout, it's always constant. So it's very good. You know, you've got a constant radar feed. And, uh, you know, you've got direction as well. Tier 2. You get the single radar sweep on respawn. I mean, if you're actually getting molly whopped and you know you're not having a good game, this could be really helpful. We put you up some kills and help try and help you break out of it. And then health bar showing above enemies that can be really good as well. If you're using a weapon, you know, or if you if you've got three enemies come towards you or two say, you can quickly see like above their head like which one's weakest, so you can pop them off quickly and then take deal with the next target. So it is good. Again, another underused perk tree, really. You've got Proxy Alarm. You see quite a lot of people using this, trying to combat low profile. You know, you're basically, the bottom right corner, or the bottom left corner on your map, you'll get a red bar you know, that will increase depending on how far you are from an enemy. It can be very good. Well, you know, it can be very helpful, but I find the Hunter perk, which we'll get on to in a bit, can actually be a lot more helpful than that basically the tiers just increase the frequency now to heavy weapon pro and this is actually a perk that has been nerfed because you know in the past it was pretty ridiculous you know you stack maneuverability in heavy weapon pro and you could run around with a pole at like twice the speed of anyone else and it was it was pretty pretty ridiculous but as you see their tier one faster movement speed with alien mountain weapons now the alien amount of weapons do see, seem to get a lot more use on a on, on PC compared to console. Like I never used to see a lot of people picking up the alien weapons, but or the HMG, but they are really good. Tier two rip off and interacts with sandbox alien tech clusters, so you know you you just pick up stuff quicker and it's a lot quicker interaction with things. They are actually very good weapons, so I do recommend using them if you're going to use this perk, it is very helpful. And then tier 3 is just extra ammunition. So with the X-Pack, you know, you, that's a total of 3 bursts there, so that is that's pretty good. It's like a swarmer, basically. You know, to Weapon Pro, reloading is quicker, it's pretty self-explanatory, self that one. 
uh, but you need to reload to actually level up. You need 150 kills within two five seconds of reloading to actually get it up. It can take a little while to get up, but it is worth it. You get tier two ADS quicker. That's basically quick draw from card. You know, there's nothing really special there. And then weapon switch quicker. Point fire enhance is a very it is a good perk, especially with shotguns and stuff like that. It's actually one of the reasons probably why the Alpha Jackal was nerfed and you know stuff in the why the Rhino is so good because it, it tightens your spread that much you can just hit fire people from ridiculous ranges it is very good especially at tier 3 if you use that stacked with the Marshall's uh, closed spread function it's got an ultimate fire if you didn't know it tightens up the spread if you use point fire enhance and that it's very very effective I highly recommend that Hunter now this is what I was getting on to say make no foots footstep or suit sounds when moving very helpful you know this again this is the thing that I was on about yesterday you know you keep yourself if you're against an enemy that's using the headset you know you keep yourself off of their sort of radar off of their you know they, they can't hear you very well or they can't hear you at all so it's very helpful for a more stealthy sort of style of play uh, tier 2 you actually get uncloaked enemy footsteps that appear highlighted on the ground now this is what I was thinking into what I was saying about um proximity alarm you can actually hear the little dinks very easy on this so that's very helpful and basically if someone's going to come up to you and they're like either if they're not going for a stealth kill then you'll be able to hear the dinks and you can hear it a lot and if you keep a lookout you can track a load of kills that way and then tier 3 is basically just an upgrade on that you get directional updates and extended trial range so if you really like hunter you know tier 3 is brilliant Moving on to armor transfer now, this is something that in Crisis 2 was very good. It was actually energy transfer altogether, where you used to get 100% of the energy back. Now it's actually restricted, so you can only get up to a total of 30% back. It takes a long time to get up, but I've had some excellent, excellent kill streaks with this perk. You know, once you get that 30%, it's actually ridiculous. You know, you can chain t kills together. So if you use something like Weapon Pro and armor transfer, so you know you reload quick, you can chain together a lot of kills. Rapid fire, basically that's another one that just stacks and gets more and more increased the further you level it up. That's pretty self-explanatory this one. It's very good on certain weapons though, aka the mic and the K-Volt. Can be very ridiculous on them sort of weapons, but it's, all, it's good on any gun really. Low profile, this is one which you're going to get flack for, but there are combats to it. So if you do hate this perk and you're watching this video, just... If you use Hunter or Proxy Alarm, like it does really help. I know they're like, oh, well, I'd like Weapon Pro and Retriever. Well, you're going to get people that use Low Profile to take advantage of that. It can get a bit annoying sometimes on Skyline where you've got Proxy Alarm going off all the time, but it's very, very helpful if you're coming across, you know, if you're having trouble with Low Profile players. Tier 1 is basically just keeps you off the radar at all times, so it can be a little bit annoying if they're camping in corners or whatnot. Tier 2, no heat signature and nanovision. Now, it's a lot easier to activate nanovision on PC. You do see a few more people using it, but it's not to the same extent as it was on Crisis 2. Like, there's not really that many players that actually take advantage of it. And then Tier 3, evade the alien gunship targeting. Now, this isn't even something you really need the perk for. I mean, you will get targeted by the gunship, and I know it sounds stupid to say this, but if you're getting targeted by the gunship, just cloak, and then it won't shoot at you. Like even if you're getting bombarded, just cloak up and then it'll stop. So don't arm mode and try and run away. Just cloak. If you've got if you've got cloak, then use it because it will take the target off you and it will stop shooting at you and give you a chance to get indoors and get out of the way. Um, the next perk is something that you barely see any of, but it's actually a very useful perk only in certain situations. Like enemy rex charges are highlighted. Now if you've got someone that's using C4 all the time, you know. The, then blow them up because it will level this perk up and it is very worth it you know so that's helpful against c4 trolls basically but tier 2 automatically like when enemy sites now if you got if you're in a server with a good ping and good connections and that this one is very helpful i remember using it on the 360 you know you're like as soon as someone's aiming at you it's better than hunter or low pro or you know it's better than hunter or you know or proxy alarm because it combats everything if you'll get an aimed at it'll come up on your screen no threat detected and make a little beep so you, you know you're being targeted and you know you can either take evasive action and then try and figure out where you're getting targeted from and take them out or you know you can get in cover and then tier three is basically any bullet trials are highlighted now the bullet trials aren't very good at all 
they're nowhere near the same sort of length as they were on Crisis 2, and the mic doesn't actually get any highlight at all. So, although that's got, got a beam coming from that, so it's not really as bad, but it's very good apart from in, if you're in a low, if you're on a very high ping server, or you know, bad connection game on 360 or PS3, it's gonna, it, it, you'll, but you'll die and then it'll come up threat detected, so you got to pick and choose it for this one, but I normally have a class with it set up, where if I'm in a good connection lobby, I'll use that, that class, you know. Moving on to maneuverability. Now this is basically the bread and butter. Everyone, every good player on this game will use maneuverability because it's what I was saying. You need to be able to keep on your feet, you know, to keep out the way of gunfights or during the gunfight to help you out, help you escape from multiple things. You know, as soon as you're level 18, you unlock this perk, whack it on every class because once you get it leveled up, it's brilliant. You know, you don't have to, every time you hit the floor, you don't have to worry about hitting your armor. Or if you use an auto armor, you don't even have to really worry about it. But tier 1 is the faster movement speed. That's the that's the most key thing in this. Tier 2 sort of stacks with that. Increases ledge grab and bolt speed. So it helps with escaping and chasing enemies. And then tier 3 is no fall damage. So you, like I'm saying, you, you can just run and not worry. You can hit the ground in cloak. You can hit the ground in any sort of situation. You won't take damage from it. So that's very good surveillance now this is actually really really good the tier one highlights enemy weapon through scopes now that's not to if you if you're on tier one and you just aim at someone they'll get a red aura around them so they stick out so you know if you lose your target you can then reacquire them easier it's good with snipers and ranged weapons like the grendel like my video the other day and then tier two you auto tag enemy players for your entire team while viewing them from scopes very helpful if you take more of a uh, of a team support sort of role and you sit back with a sniper and try and tag everyone for your team and then tier three is even better is un enemies are unable to tag you so if you've ever been tagged before like the tags wear off pretty quick with su quick with surveillance but they won't be able to tag you at all if you have surveillance tier three which is very helpful because if you if you've ever been tagged in this game you'll know the tag lasts for about 10 seconds yeah it takes a it takes a fair amount of time for you to break the tag and if, you, if you're playing against the tagger, you're going to constantly be getting tagged. So this is always a good one to have. I've got it on one of my classes at the moment. You know, it's, it's very good. So bear that in mind. Detonation delay. Now this is really only re ever really seen on Crash Site and on Skyline. Because there's a lot of grenades get thrown in their maps. you know, And there's a lot of flashbangs and stuff get thrown about. So it is very helpful. So the first tier basically just delays detonation of enemy grenades and rex charges. That's pretty, you know, pretty standard there. Tier two players less affected by flashbang grenades. Now the flashbangs in this game do actually work rather well if you, if, you know, if you don't like the grenade or you you prefer a more tactical approach of play, then throw flashbangs because they will get you a lot of kills. Uh, you see there in the picture, it does sort of just reduce the effects of it. And then tier 3 is an automatic defense against missile attacks, which is actually a pretty funny one. If someone shoots you with a jaw, it will just bounce off and fly across the map. So it won't actually be able to hurt you at all, which is very good. Especially the jaw can be an easy way for players to get, you know, if they respawn, they, they can basically, they're guaranteed a free jaw kill, really, if, they, if, they, if they're used to it. So that can be pretty annoying. Your expanded arsenal, which basically is loadout pro or whatever from COD gives you two weapons very well very good if you stack this obviously with weapon pro because you can switch out quickly your additional primary weapon to be carried in place of a secondary is pretty standard tier two additional ammo for primary and secondary this gives you another clip but if you run this with let's say two shotguns for a skyline game like an alpha jackal and a, and a marshal you actually end up with about 100 shotgun rounds so that's <laughs> that's very very good i highly recommend it and then tier 3 you get an extra grenade or explosive. Now at one point this was a glitched where you could actually have four jaw rockets. But the, you know they've, they've obviously they've patched that since now. You now get additional grenade or explosive. Pretty self explanatory. And then you've got the XP bonus which is just 5, 10, 15% XP. If you if you really, you know, if you wanna, even if you want to lose arm, auto armor and level up quicker then this will do it. It's not... You know, you don't see a lot of people use it, but it is there to help you level up quicker. And then we're back to water armor. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. I've got a quick little gameplay clip for you at the end here. I hope you enjoy it. This has been Crazy K-Fud. I'll see you in the next one.